After taking the IELTS speaking test, I heard many IELTS takers are complaining, saying that I don't understand why the examiner has given me only six or 6.5. I answered all the questions. Trust me, you cannot score more than 6 or if it is highest, 6.5 if you don't know these 5 tricky things I'm going to share in this video. So, the number one tricky thing is if you can't use cue card related tense, you will be surprised to know 95% of my students at the initial stage cannot use cue cut related tense. Now you might be wondering what is cue cut related tense? Look at this cue card. It says, describe the time when you used a map. You should say, when it was, why did you use the map? How you felt about it? If you observe this cue card, you will find that all the verbs are in past tense. So while you are answering this cue card particularly, you have to use past tense. That means your given story for the cue card, for this particular cue card, will be in past tense. Let me tell you a truth. While I was preparing for IELTS exam for the first time, that time I was really struggling to use past tenses especially for Q card, because we are really habituated to use present tense while we are talking. So please be very conscious while you are using past tense in our speaking test, particularly in part two. Now let's observe another Q card. Look at this. It says, describe a place you would like to go to relax. You should say, where it is, when would you like to go, why would you like to go, what would you like to do? Now, this cue card is the tricky one. I would say this is the trickiest one because while you are answering this cue card, you have to blend future tense with the present tense. And I will suggest you to use sentences using the word would because in the question if you look there is the word would so while you are answering this type of question i mean this type of cue card you have to use maximum sentences using the word would because while you are giving the sentences with the word would it is more native and more natural way to answer or put your sentences and not only for cue card try to use sentences using the word for every part of a speaking test trust me you will maximize your score let's analyze the last cue card look at this cue card it says describe a person you know who talks a lot what do you think what kind of tense will you use for this cue card? Let me know in the comment section below so that I can understand you have understood what I have said to do in part two of our speaking test and how to analyze cue card and how to use tenses. My second tricky thing is about starting the answers in part one and part three of our speaking test. If you are using the same starters again and again for every questions in part one and part three of our speaking test, you cannot maximize your score. Maybe you are limited to only using yes, no, I think, or in my opinion. Trust me, if you are only using these three or four starters, you cannot score more than six or maybe 6.5, the highest. So the thing is, if you're using the same starters again and again, it means you have limited 
vocabulary. Simultaneously, it doesn't sound good when every time you are using I think, I think, yes, no, this kind of thing. So my recommendation is use variety of starters. And I have enlisted 35 starters for part one and part three of I'm speaking test. If you want to get those starters, you can follow my Facebook page and inbox me and let me know that you have watched this video and you want these 35 starters. Definitely, I will give you that. At the same time, if you learn these starters, I can bet you, you won't repeat a single starter for answering the question in I'm speaking part one and part three. However, I'm going to share 10 starters here so that you can use these starters while you are practicing for I'm speaking test. So these are, when it comes to, in my opinion, in my view, I personally feel that, obviously, to tell you the truth, honestly speaking, I would say that, yes, I do. No, I don't. If you use these 10 starters, you will maximize your score. Here comes our third tricky thing. It is about using idiomatic expressions and spoken expressions. If you can use idiomatic expressions and spoken expressions in our speaking test, you can maximize your score. Because you might know that IELTS speaking test is an informal test. So the examiner is expecting that you will use idiomatic expressions at the same time spoken expressions in IELTS speaking test. And for getting seven plus in IELTS speaking test, you have to use idiomatic expressions. Let's talk about the last tricky thing. This is last but not the least. This is the most important one. It is about repeating words, ideas, and sentences. Trust me, in our speaking test, repeating is a crime. The examiner will penalize you if you repeat word, ideas, or sentences. I will say the least they will penalize you is 0.5 score. So do not repeat word ideas or sentences. However, I have two suggestions for you so that you need not to repeat in our speaking test. Number one is, while you are practicing for our speaking test, record your answers and count how many times did you repeat and minimize that repetition. And the second suggestion is, if you find yourself repeating, please stop, give a pause, and start again. But do not repeat words or sentences. So remember these five tricky things, and definitely you will maximize your score. And if you are aiming for a seven plus, you have to be very conscious about these five tricky things. And for more tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon so that you get the notification when I upload a video. And if you find this video helpful, please share with your friends and family members. Follow my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.